Guys, Comedy here, and I'm going to be playing Pokemon Sapphire for two reasons. One being that I really like Pokemon, and another being that, well, Jason told me to. It was really his idea. I wanted to do it anyway, but um, I never really got to it or ought to do it. I wanted to do one of the later games, but I mean, I can't really record my DS. I'm doing this off of an emulator. And so, as I get more equipment, I might be able to record my DS and do later games. Like right now, I have, um, I have Alpha Sapphire. But aside from that, let's just get right into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clock-based events. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Sup, Bert? Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. Oh, really? Oh, I don't know. Is it? This world is wildly inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes, we bend together to battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy, I would think. <laughs> Your name. And I hate the whole capital name thing, but just because everyone else has it... Okay, my name it. Just because everyone else does it, I guess I will. I like how they changed that in later games. Yes! Okay, so you're Brendan, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my lab. Chuck, 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 chuck. Beep, beep. Okay. You've arrived in Old Ale Town. I think. Brendan, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in a moving truck. Yeah, I never understood that. Why would you put your kid in a moving truck? Seriously, you must be the worst mom in the world. Don't put your son in a moving truck with all the stuff. What if the boxes, like, fell over and killed him? After that dark moment. Uh, how do you like it? This is our new home. It's quite a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Brendan. Let's go inside. See, Brendan? Isn't it nice in here, too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Brendan, your room upstairs. Your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. It works. Don't forget to set it. I don't think I can. Or I I know it won't do anything. Clock is stopped. Better set and start it. Uh timing. No. Let's speed this up. No. Um, right now it's about 515, so... Mm, yeah. That's good. Brennan, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. 
They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Oh, and look at this. In every Pokemon game, they always put in the current Nintendo console that was popular in the time that the game was made. So, it says it's a Nintendo GameCube. The Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. Like in Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, they have a Wii U with a gamepad. Same with like X and Y. <coughs> my god, what's my, my throat? Uh, bring and boot up the PC, what would you like to do? Item storage. Uh, withdraw item, potion. Yep. There's always one there. Um, there's the adventure manual. Menu at start. Record your progress with save. Remaining pages are blank. Okay. So. We're on our way. Oh, Brandon, Brandon, quick. Come quickly. Look, it's Petalberg June. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report in front of Petalberg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Do 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 do, walking into a stranger's house. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Brendan, our new next door neighbor. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Yeah, just barge into her room, why not? <laughs> These are all the things I just, like, don't get. <laughs> I've played the game for years, and it still bothers me. Pokemon full restored, items ready, and huh? Who, who are you? See, these people do it right. They are actually surprised that I walked into their house. Oh, you're Brendan. See, your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Brendan, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Brendan, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I've just met you, Brendan. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Brendan, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Pop. Okay, so... I might as well go in here. There's nothing. The standard lab setup that they usually have. Okay, so I have to go down here, rescue him from whatever Pokemon is chasing him around. I think it's a food channel? Yeah. Hello over there. Hello, you over there. Please help. In my back. There's a Pokeball. Now, I usually always choose Trico, and I don't know, I just don't want to choose Torchic, so I'm going to go with Mudkip, because, like, first gym is Rock, and Torchic wouldn't be a good idea, but even past that, I think Swamper overall is a good Pokemon to have, and there are always other Pokemon of the other types to get, so, yes. And boom. There on the bottom of the screen you'll see what kid is. As uh put on my party. Like as this goes through I'll have the Pokemon on my party and the badges that I get appear on the screen. That's how I've sort of put it together. Okay, this first battle is always so tedious. Because all you can really do is tackle the Pokemon. So he's just dead. Woo. I was in the tall grass staying wild Pokemon when I was just jumped. 
You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Brendan. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Later, meaning now? <laughs> so, Brendan, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. yet. By the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. Whatever. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me. I like you to have I like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Brennan received the Mudkip. Mudkip. Oh you're at it, why not give the nickname to that Mudkip? Nope. If you work at Pokemon Game Experience, you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid May is out on Route 103 studying Pokemon. It might not be a bad idea for you to go see May. What do you think? Yeah. Great. May should be happy too. Get me to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Okay, sure do. Sure thing, man. Peace. Waddle, 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 waddle. Yeah, badly. So I'll have to fight um her Trico. So I'm going to probably want to just I don't know what this up this thing up. I don't know if it's totally necessary. Like it's definitely not necessary to, but I think it's still a good idea. I don't have anything left to lose. Still a lot of time that I could use to go through the video. So we just keep tackling away. Oh, that's old Deltown. What am I thinking? That's a little weird town that we were in. Derp. Okay, so just do some little training here. Or er, why not? I'm not at it. Uh. This person usually, yeah, they show you around. This is a Pokemon Mart. Just look for a blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like you to have this as a promotional item. A potion, I think. Yep. Now I have two! Brendan put away the potion in the items pocket. The potion can be used at any time, so it's even more useful than the Pokemon's enter in certain situations. Yeah. This is train in 103. I'm pretty sure I can catch a wingle in this area. I know I'm gonna want a Poochina because I love Poochina and Mighty Anna. And Zigzagoon can be used for HMs. I usually don't like to use HM saves, like usually I'll have a Pokemon that which has like two HMs on it and then is also good for attacking, but in this game, some of the HMs just get annoying, so I plop them all on a Lanoon. Except for Fly, usually I'll have a Swallow for that. Training, training, gotta get some training. Is it level 7 they learned Water Gun, or 10? If it's 10, it's not worth it, I'm just gonna fight me. Ooh, Mud Slap. That's useful. It's not technically... None of these moves are stabs because they're not the same type as Mudkip. Yet. <laughs> God, don't look at me. Do you hear? Die! Die, you stupid raccoon! Die. Thank you. Die in peace. Rest in pieces. 
I should really just stay still in my chair. I keep going up forward and it's really weird. Like, uh, no. There, there, there we go. There we go. My head's more centered. Okay. Usually this first battle with me is nothing because, I mean, she just has a Trico, it's just gonna use a pound. But I kinda wanna do some little bits of training, I don't know. It fills up time. So, mud slab, simple way of just getting through the battle. It's a lot easier to explain these things on my own as I go through it than it is to explain it just to other people who need the advice as they're going. Like, the whole thing, if you've watched Jason's um, Pokemon series, either ones that he's done, um, you will see that it sometimes when he asks me for help, it's just random and I have to think off the top of my head. This I can actually go through the game and as things happen I can explain why they're good. Okay, so... Um, is it... Yeah. It's an emulator, I need to learn the controls. Okay, he's level 7, that's good enough. Might not have water gun, but whatever. It's not gonna help me in this battle. In a way, it's like... But, um... For it. Yes, he didn't hurt me. But I'm probably not gonna get him on this last wait a second. Pokemon Kid Summary Smoke Slap. Ah, oh, do they not have that? The physical versus special in this generation. What? What? Maybe not. I killed it anyway. Cause like, if he was just using growl, I could go for, or if mud, I'm pretty sure mud slap, no it's mud slap, so I doubt it would be special, not physical. Let's see, the Pokemon found in 103 include, Oh, spoilers, I wanted to hear them. Alrighty. Oh hi Brendan, oh I see, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Okay, let's do this, man. Nice little wood gecko. Eat my fish! How would Mozart do against a Trico? Not good. <laughs> or does accuracy? Lord, my defense. Please don't hit me. That didn't do much anyway. Okay. Hit me all you want. <laughs> yes, level 8. Oh, and I forgot to go talk to that guy to the left of Old Bale Town. He usually says, uh, he's... Oh. He's looking at footprints. Like, he's looking at footprints as he's examining, so you can't go through that route yet. But, you'll just see. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. See ya. I'm not going to do it off in Old Dota, I'll end it off when I by going back there. I think he still says that because I have to get through part of the story. I discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Yeah, yeah, that was it. <laughs> it's 
funny. For those of you who don't know, you'll see why. When Pokemon battle, they eventually level up and become stronger. I know this, lady. If Pokemon with you become stronger, you'll be able to go further away from here. I also know this. <laughs> it's for beginners. At the beginning of the game, they always do that. So, I can't really complain. Let's hurry home. Okay, May. Jump. Just for fun, jump. Even though I didn't need to. I hate not having running shoes at the start. Ugh. So annoying. Automatic walk. Oh, hi, Brendan. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May has been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Brendan, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Thank you. Brendan received the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, wow, Brendan, you got a Pokedex, too? That's great, just like me. I got something for you, too. The Pokeball. Oh, okay, just one. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look over at the place... Oh, I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Brennan, Brennan, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch, how nice. Your, your father's child. Oh, you're your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. Thank God! I'll put a zip in your step. Run it. Those shoes came with instructions. Press B button while wearing those sh shoes to run extra fast. Slip on the running shoes and race into the great outdoors. Blah, blah, blah. Think they have your own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get them, honey. How is Mudkip? Oh. Yeah, go heal. Yeah, running shoes. <laughs> Mommy, I'm hurt. How are you doing, Brendan? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. Thanks. <laughs> Take care, honey. Do a book. The instruction booklet for the running shoes. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't care. Face up and hit the road running. It didn't say that before. Whatever. We Wait. Did she just give me one Pokeball? That's confusing. Oh, no, I have five. I don't know why it said the Pokeball. Weird. It doesn't even show you how to catch the Pokemon, though. Oh. Guess it's gonna be a Zigzagoon first. Level three and um, Pujana, 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 Pujana. Thanks again. Level three. Probably not gonna get any higher. Uh, tackle. You won't kill it, right? Yes. No, it's only in yellow. But oh, mud slap, dude. Oop, dead. Duh. One time I actually wanted to catch it. What is with the zigzagoons? Since mud slap killed it last time, let's see what one mud slap does. Oh, okay. Can just do another mud slap. Pretty sure it'll be in red. 
mode's that? Eh, whatever. It's low enough. Come on, Ziggy. I hate how it has no animation, it's just like... Uh, I do it! Their hair on Zigzagoon's back is bristly. It rubs the hard back hair against trees to leave its territory... Oh... Markings. This Pokemon may play dead to full foes in battle. This thing is just overall gross. <laughs> like, that description is just horrible. <laughs> Talks about its back hair and how it plays dead. I'm not ratting on Zigzagoon, but it's just like... That's just a disgusting description. Yeah, Poochiana! Um... Need something higher than level 2. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Well, I could catch this one. But, man. Oops. That was beat. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna just you know, kill this thing because why would I? I can use the experience. Whoa! Oh, he must have picked up a berry. Oh, he picked up an orange berry. Does that mean if I had caught this one, I would have had an orange berry? Whatever, wrong. Wait, does my Zigzagoon have anything? No, but does he have pickup? That's a berry? Yes! Good, that's good. Can, is there a Wingle in this area? Wingle, Wingle, Wingle. Stupid things are good. I need water gun! Uh, catching, 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 catching. Oh yeah. Yes! Level 4 better. I don't care if it's a girl. Tackle. Are you serious? Are you serious? Better be a pitchy on it. Better be higher than two. Well, I did say higher than two. <laughs> well, I mean, it, level three isn't bad. What level is six against three? So why not tackle? Don't die. Okay. I probably can't get you any lower than that. So let's see how we do. Not really in high hopes here. Yeah, no high hopes there. Ah! No. Left. Crap, I just wasted that. Oh. Level 9, though. It might seem like I'm overtraining Mudkip, but I mean, at least I at least want to get him to level 10, and then Zigzagoon, and then Pochino, if and when I catch one. Please let you be the one, yes. I'm just gonna mud slap you. Go get him down low enough, little bits at a time. Don't, don't kill me. 
Okay, five only on a critical hit, so you need either two more critical hits to kill me or he won't. Oh, this is so risky. I'm doing it. Yes! Yes! Rhyme catching state. Oh yeah, that wouldn't kill me. Boom. Puchian is an omnivore. It will eat anything. Distinguishing features how large its fangs are compared to you. Oh. Let's read that. I want to finish it. Compared to its body. This Pokemon tries to intimidate its foes by making the hair on its tail bristle out. Okay. Now I'm just going to end off this video by just heading to Old Dale Town. I'm gonna do a little off-camera training, getting them to a decent level. I'll have to stay in this area though, because I don't want to progress any further or catch anything. Well, maybe I'll do some off-camera training. I don't know. Yeah. But just so I know, switch that for now. So, anyway, um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.